history is a uh, 29 year old female presents with fever for one week and blurring of vision of left eye with pain yes so what are the possibilities you consider in this patient can female with fever for one week the blurring of vision as uh, unicular blurring of vision so it can be uh, optic uh, neuritis yes then um, blurring of left eye with the pain so it can be i am and glaucoma acute congestive glaucoma good then um, papillitis uh, can be uveitis 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 as uh, possible so what all questions you want to ask now um is there any um if there is there any congestion of the eyes if there that's is right that's right very good so is there con- no, no congestion in this patient so here's a fever with the one week blurring of vision left eye which are situation where you find you lateral visual loss in in uh, optic neuritis of the papillitis and do you consider possibility of retinal artery occlusion or retinal venous Ret- occlusion uh, ret- retinal artery occlusion uh, will crao will be acute and painless but it is painful that's very good okay past history history of cesarean section uh, 4 months back and history of fever with facial rash um history of cesarean section 4 can you name some disease which flares up postpartum period sir sla will flare up okay good yes so what are the conditions putting a fever with facial rash SLE will be one. Yes. What's the, what's the what's the rash of SLE? Malar rash. What's the peculiarity of malar rash? It will uh, it, it is photosensitive, and uh, it will be um, on on both cheeks involving the bridge. Any particular area which is paired? Nasolabial fold will be spared. Any other condition with a fever and rash? Uh, Do you get rash in case of sarcoidosis? Yeah, yes. Uh, uh, that apple jelly. Uh, like, um, apple. Uh, What's the apple. classical word used? Lupus pernio. Very good. Lupus What type of rash you get in dermatomyositis? Um, um, heliotropic rash. Where is it seen? Uh, in the uh, in the dorsum of the palm. No, we are we have getting history of the uh, rash over the face. No. Uh, so on the face, it, um, um, both malar area. Uh, commonly, you get uh, rash on the periorbital area, lilac colored lesion. There can be malar also, no problem. Yes. Uh, there Any is no. Do you want an additional history required here? You want Any, different, it, differential diagnosis. So, what additional history you want? any joint pain or that's muscle right. any any muscle uh, weakness involvement that's right then um uh, would like to ask his to hair loss ah uh, yes sir after sulcers abortions rashes on the body fever Articaria, frothy urine, purpuric spots, proximal weakness. Okay. So, how are you going to evaluate this patient? 
uh, we will uh, ask fever. Uh, then uh, how is uh, I mean fever one week? Uh, okay. We will ask. Uh, okay. Go ahead. Blurring of vision. You already mentioned painful versus painless. Yes. Name some condition with the photophobia. Uh, my um, meningitis, then migraine. Fine. Tell some condition where you get field defects. Blurring of vision can be because the loss of vision. It can be field, def field defect, it can be diplopia, what not. So, uh, field defect. Are... Um, in glaucoma, we can get field, field defect. Yes. Then, in. Oh, optic, optic nerve uh, involvement. Which condition you are talking about? Name one disease you know where optic nerve is affected? Commonly discussed. Multiple episodes. Spaced on the time. Anatomically spaced. Uh, sir, um, space of the brain lesion in the um, optic asthma. Commonly we talk, talk about uh, multiple sclerosis. Uh, sclerosis. Oh, to ask a couple of things to make a diagnosis here and this is what we find. There is alopecia, then uh, there is rash involving the bridge of nose and both malar area. And general examination shows? Uh, pallor. Pallor. Why do these people get pallor? What may the cause for the pallor? We'll come to that later on anyway. So what's your diagnosis now? Sir, it will be SLE. So, CNS examination, this is what you get. Um, left eye uh, central scotoma, um, pupillary re reflex uh, direct right normal left is absent, uh, consensual right absent and left is normal. So, um, uh, um, direct in, in left eye the uh, direct uh, reflex is absent. So, uh, there is a um, problem in the, in the le uh, left optic nerve. Um, so, what is meant by Marcus can pupil? Uh, afferent uh, uh, accommodation hmm. uh, uh, accommodation accommodation reflex is present Marcus can people occur in their afferent pupillary defect afferent. where you find the direct light reflex is not um, very strong um, very strong. When they swing light, when yeah. they swing light from one eye to eye, another eye, commonly what you find is, if I am moving from left eye to right eye, you will find that when I move, the right pupil is already constricted because of the consensual light reflex and I am applying direct light then and it will continue to be constricted provided the afferent pathway is intact. If afferent pathway is not intact, when you apply light, you will find that the light, uh, reflex is poor. But when you go to the opposite side, you will find the pupil is dilating. Okay, And if you are giving light to the right eye, consensually left eye will be constricting as in this patient and you bring the light from the right eye to left eye, instead of continuing constriction, left eye start dilating. In other words, when there is afferent pupillary reflex problem, you find direct light reflex is weaker than consensual light reflex. Normally, in a normal person, both reflexes are present, but direct light reflex is stronger. So, when you do the swinging in a normal person, if you swing from one eye to other eye, whichever eye is getting direct light will be continuing to constrict. Look, you got the point? Yes, sir. Yes, so that is a consensual light reflex. And what do you expect to find the fundoscopy? 
the uh, the uh, op- there will be blurring of the disc so what is your differential diagnosis if there's a blurring of disc um papil- papilledema one is papilledema yes what happens to acute vision in papilledema sir uh, uh, sorry what will happen to acute vision in papilledema uh, it will be reduced sir. in in, in papilledema acute vision is normally retained then what is the defect if you examine sec- second cranial nerve what will you find there is um, concentric constriction of visual field that's what you find yes other conditions producing uh, blurring of disc margin you said optic neuritis papillitis so what are the findings in second cranial nerve examination um in uh, the visual acuity will be reduced very good we should like to be reduced and central scotoma very characteristic and color vision will also be affected yes. but if when you examine the retrobulbar neuritis what will happen to the fundus uh, retrobulbar neuritis the fundus will be normal normal that's right so this is the fundus appearance of this patient and patient had evidence of optic neuritis you can see the disc margin is blurred So, what is the final diagnosis in this case? Optic, uh, optic neuritis. Uh, the patient has got major cutaneous involvement. Yes, yes. There is optic neuritis. As you can see, diffuse alopecia. Hematologically, there is anemia, and constitutionally, patient has got fever. So, to make a diagnosis. you have to go for few more criteria like checking for antibodies and so on but it goes without saying that is a case of sld so what is your differential diagnosis for optic neuritis if somebody has optic neuritis what all things you'll suspect uh, sir it can be uh, any um, in multiple sclerosis uh, yes. you can again approach in a different fashion if it's a child or young adult like this patient you think about infections or autoimmune so depending upon the age if a person is very elderly 70 years what possibility will suspect um can be uh some uh giant cell arthritis or temporal arthritis and diabetes mellitus on the other hand if the patient has got u8 is plus optic neuritis what will suspect again infection, infection. and autoimmune autoimmune and if it is a recurrent episodes of optic neuritis what do you suspect uh, multiple sclerosis one neuromyelitis optica how do you diagnose neuromyelitis optica um, spinal cord more than three segments must be involved by imaging and optic nerve is also affected and echoporin 4 antibodies can be demonstrated and this type of recurrent events can be seen in lupus sarcoidosis chronic relapsing optic neuritis and paraneoplastic conditions so coming to the causes of optic neuritis uh, uh, okay optic ne- atrophy versus optic neuritis how do you differentiate between the two and um, op- optic neuritis there will be um it is painful inflammatory uh, this is um it is painful and if there's papillitis you find that uh, disc margin is blurred optic atrophy is primary disc margin is well preserved and it will be pale pale in color yes what are the yes. five common sites, signs of optic nerve damage uh, sir uh, there will be which special activity uh sir op- optic atrophy uh was scotoma color vision problem which will get diminished and you have got afferent pupillary defect okay so coming to the cause of optic atrophy can you tell some cause of optic atrophy um, genetically some causes are there lebers optic atrophy mitochondrial diseases 
okay you can have optic atrophy because something is pressing on that neoplasia now again non neoplastic compressions because the abscess aneurysms thyroid and so on can create problems yes that's right drugs can produce problem name one drug which can produce problem on the optic nerve any anti tuberculous drug yes tamotol tamotol can you tell some recreational things which can produce problems of optic nerve it In comes clusters during festivals oh bang bang methanol methanol so toxins can also create problems okay like yes. tobacco deficiencies can create problems optic nerve b1 b6 b12 and there are different types of infections get produced like toxoplasma meningitis syphilis and so on and inflammatory disease all you said sarcoidosis and so on so there are varieties of causes of optic atrophy so how are you going to treat this patient um sir we will uh, um we will find the cause sir that whether it is any inflammatory or infectious then degenerative causes or any drug so no, we are talking about this particular patient yes the patient um this is architects are so steroids we have to give no, steroids so you have to assess which all organs are affected so check the urine albumin microscopy sediment urea creatinine and see how much affection is there okay yes. so you check the all end organs take an extra x ray is there involvement of the lungs take an ecg then of course confirm with the help of antibodies which are the specific antibodies um and anti nuclear antibody anti histone yes. antibodies uh ana to diagnose sle which are specific antibodies you have got anti dna uh, antibody more important will be smith antibody smith antibody and anti dna antibody and for following up patients you know activity or not we have to go for complement you to test for complement okay so you have to start the patient on steroids i being an important organ you cannot wait for few days you start treatment and then go ahead with further evaluation anemia you have to go for coombs test you have to check the platelet of this patient and so on so couple of investigations are required the interest of this case is patient present with optic neuritis and uh, other features of sle so sle can have varied manifestations everybody need not come with classical presentation but here there are few classical things are the fever is the flared up during postpartum period that rash is distributed to the classical area the the yes. scalp was very suggestive so there are adequate clues to make a diagnosis do you have any doubts about this case no uh in that uh in in that picture that shown it it is like uh discoid uh in discoid lupus no discoid will be quite well circumscribed localized this is diffuse cellular hair loss and uh, no sir i'm asking about the rashes no rashes was crossing the midline crossing this and also over the forehead and the nasal level fold was spared and the classical uh, red color may not be seen in all patients depending upon your primary complexion you know okay so you just like westerners you cannot have the classical arithmetic pattern always all depends upon individuals but i index suspicion will give clue to the diagnosis